Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. This week, we're going to do something a little different from what we're normally used to. We went to Shaka Ice today, and over there, we checked out Hawaiian Shaved Ice. I have to thank uh, the two owners of the place, uh, Nick and Jordan, for allowing us to film on set. Uh, they uh, invited us over to the Friends and Family Day, but they officially open on June 12th. It's a little shack in the parking lot behind the Morning Owl. Even though they were pretty busy that day, I got a few words from Jordan and this is what he had to say about the place. Well, Nick and I both have been to Hawaii uh, numerous times. It's, it's the choice of destination that we take our family. Uh, it's a great spot for kids and uh, in Hawaii you see these everywhere. It, it's, it's part of their culture, shaved ice. So um, I thought, hey, let's, let's bring this to Ottawa and see, uh, see how it goes. Nick uh, owns a couple of uh, martial art jiu-jitsu uh, studios, um, Gracie. Uh, I own the Morning Owl Coffee House as well as um, Raw Pulp and Grind. Nick is a fantastic promoter. He promotes, uh, um, you know, the MMA fights and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you know, I got the food aspect down, and uh, yeah, together we've made a, a pretty good partnership so far. Yeah, I've known I've known Nick for well over 20 years. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. this goes like way back, way back to high school, yeah. Okay. It's a fun event, it's fun. Yeah, exactly. It's a fun, we want to keep it fun, we want to keep it light. We're only doing it on the weekends. It's not meant uh, for stress, it's meant for the exact opposite. Like, it, it's, it's not for money, it's, it's, for, it's, it's a passion project right now, yeah. It's, it's great seeing the smile on kids' faces. It's, it's something I haven't seen in a long time. And I heard that uh, Nick kind of has those bouncy castles as well. Will, will we be able to see some bouncy castles over here? I think so, I think so. Nick, Nick started uh, the Ottawa Bouncy Castle Festival, which uh, has been a huge success over the last couple of years. Obviously, the, the pandemic has stunted it uh, this year and last year. Um, but yeah, he has got quite the collection of bouncy castles. Uh, some that we can't even fit in the backyard here. They're just gigantic. So yeah, we will be having one of those festivals. Hopefully, hopefully the second we are able to. They even showed us how the Japanese ice machine worked. Now, you'll see that they had to still cut up all the ice manually and then they put it into the ice maker. It's a pretty industrial machine. Uh, so huge blocks of ice can fit in there. She turned it on and Basically, the, the machine just shaves off, shaves off some ice for, for the shaved ice. Originally, when they're, they're shaved like that, it'll look like snow. She packs it in a bit more with a, a little device, and uh, just so that we can get as much ice as possible onto that little cone. And then they have a variety of different flavors where they, they pour the syrup onto the, the cone. And I would have thought since the syrup is like uh, room temperature, I would have thought that it would have melted all the ice, but it does make a nice consistency of the ice and the syrup together. This is what Sammy and I thought of it when we first tried it out. So uh, we're out here at Chaka Ice and it's the first tasting of it. Pretty good. Really, really like it. I, uh, I mean, simple idea, but so delicious and I think those are the best ones. So um, I'll probably be back here again. You know, it's behind the morning owl, not too far from where I am. Zip up here on my bike and Get a cool ice treat. I think it's a little better because it's not like a, a slurpee where you just like suck on a straw and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. in a in a spoon. You scoop You're it. Kind of taking your time. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor. You got the Hawaiian. Yeah. I figured we're at a Hawaiian shaved ice place. Why not go with the you know the basic idea? What is it? Mango, pineapple, mango, and pineapple. tropical fruit. Yeah, they hold, had a whole bunch of different flavors. They, had, they have a whole bunch of different flavors and. Uh, Again, like such a great, simple, delicious treat. Yeah, I definitely, we'll be back. And the location of this place is pretty nice too. It's like nice little patio where we get tons of sun, and it's pretty warm out nowadays in Ottawa. And uh, they opened it right at the right time when we're just reopening everything here in Ottawa. The thing that I like most about this is the fact that you're eating it with the spoon, and you're not going to get a brain freeze from it. Mm. You know when you like suck on the the Slurpee, mm -hmm. you drink it really fast and then you get those brain freezes. This is at your, the, the your own pace. Your own pace, yeah. On top of that, when you uh, you slurp the Slurpee, it kind of like, uh, you drink up all the syrup and then it becomes ice later on. This is what happens with, with um, the Shaka ice. Yeah, so it basically becomes more Slurpee rather, rather than how, it, how normal Slurpees are. But I still think that it's not too syrupy for me, which I like. Yeah. It's got a nice like texture of ice. 
Yeah, well, big congratulations go to Nick and Jordan for opening up the place. I hope uh, you guys liked what you saw. Maybe bring some of your kids over there if you have any. And uh, go and check them out. Let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.